Hey guys, Nemesis Reloaded issue number two we're going to do by Mark Millar and George Jimenez. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, probably everyone has already read this comic, except for me. <laughs> I'm still waiting for some issues. So, I'm liking it. I had a blast with the first one. So, uh, let's dive in with the second one. I mean, I heard that the, um, the Magic Order is pretty good too. So, this I could buy some trades, but I don't know. Anyway... So um, we see here, cops are dying because Nemesis is put uh, $10,000 on every cop, cop's head. And, uh, you know, that um, attracts some people that you don't want to have that 10 gram a pop, right? So innocent cops uh, or cops that do their duty dies and the one that beats them to death or youth, you know, um, like school kids, they are being recruited by uh, by Nemesis because we are the money is how do you say addicting. Uh, but yeah, so this chief, it's called Captain Cooper, and he is now I know being elected as the chief, you know the big chief here, and I'm not sure how you call it in American or in English, but. Um, he says it here, the mages asked me to be acting police chief, so we just have to get on with it for now, because, uh, you know, all these people are dying. Anyway, and um, so this guy talks about the uh, elected Joe Costelli, Costello, and he thinks, hey, maybe he's a, he's a good man. There's nobody I trust more to sort this shit out. <laughs> Speaking of shit, right, yeah, this is human feces. So this is a rich guy that, that voted or, you know, helped, you know, put money into this campaign for him. And um, he says, um, please, my wife is an actress, Major Costello. She had small but significant roles in these top 20 movies in the 1990s and is of, and is of highly sensitive nature. We didn't back your political campaign, so some maniac could steal their private collection of African curiosities. And they are, you know, do some DNA stuff on the on that piece of poo <laughs> to figure it out. Hey, maybe we can figure out if there's, you know, some involvement, you know, who this perpetrator is. Um, and then he says, I, this made me laugh. Uh, Besides, my associates and I were told you were a man of action. If we knew we were putting a snowflake in office, we have our doubled our insurances. But, uh, you know, the major doesn't back down. He says, well, the, the the people voted for me, not some guy with rich money and all that stuff. Uh, and he says, uh, we are also doing what we can to track this guy down. But this bounty on every police officer has created serious manpower issues. My recommendation to you would be getting out of town for a while. And we all ready. And, and we, you already know, um, are one of his targets and we don't know if there's anything personal. So, so he backs off and he says, Mr. Major, I made every cent of my property's empire through hard work and balls of steel. Fabrice Dubois doesn't scare easily. And I refuse to be spooked by some Nancy boy in a Harry Potter costume. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. But then uh, this cop says, hey, we analyzed the DNA of the, the poo. And he says uh, it's a direct match with the first lady. Who the hell is this guy? Why is he fucking with me like this? You don't like filing, do you, Joe? So, yeah. And um, so he's watching them from afar. And then all the, this one of these guys says, uh, hey, I, I know the um, your, your henchmen are a bunch of criminals, but we are just some shopkeepers. What are we doing here? And he says, shh, you all part of the plan, Jake. Um, I wonder what that is. Probably involves a lot of bodies. Uh, but then we get a um, origin story, if you will, or sort of. We already saw it in the, in the, in the last issue. But it seems that um, he says, My name is Matthew Anderson, and my parents were arrested on my 10th birthday for the murder of nine hitchhikers. The chief arresting officer found the final Lake Hollywood uh, in Lake Hollywood Park. And she could only be identified by her leopard print sandals. Joe Costello, hey, it's the major, had ambition to burn. And he had all the other young Turks vowed to 
they would bring the killer to justice. All right, so this is a personal involvement here. So it seems that um, when they busted, well, his mother and his father, and also he was also part of because he's been know, brainwashed by his family. Uh, so the father died in a couple of, um, you know, m less than a minute, but his mother needed free injections for her to die. Um, uh, because they sentenced her to death and, you know, it traumatized him or so. And then he's been placed into some kind of a care system. A pretty boy in a child's children's home run by the mob as a party house for the well-heeled friends and political acquaintances. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, I was gone before anyone get their hands on me. Picking pockets and living out, tra out of trash cans. So, until one of his spotters caught me trying to steal her purse and at an old school truck stop in San Diego. So uh, she says, um, hey, you give me back or I'm going to send you back to that horrible children's home, kid. And um, so she warns him if she does not do what he, she says, she's going to call the cops. Now, if you want to make some serious coins, he says, I suggest you meet me. You meet the man I work for. He doesn't extend a lot of invitations. And believe me, he only asks once. Only he had to do is just drink you know, drink the coffee. And um, and then this counter guy says, hey, it's on the house, youngster. Just close your eyes and knock it right back. And then he's just falling asleep because it was drugs. And then he wakes up. And um, somewhere. And he, he hears jungle drums and it's getting louder and louder. And he says, you're in the circle now. And if you dare to leave, my friends will set the dogs on you. I said, what the fuck is this? Great stuff. So um, he is here. And he was buried alive and he says, yeah, it's only for your symbolic rebirth. The old you is dead forever. The new one only dies if you lose. Lose what? What we're offering is truly special. But you have to put, but you have to fight to prove that you deserve it. So there's an other concession that is also proven equal. And uh, so he says, yeah, hey, dude, I, I, I'm, I'm not killing everyone. But then the guy just comes at it because he knows what is at stake. There's only one person coming out here alive. And uh, he says, yeah, that's it. Keep going. Go for this leg. And he loses balance. See how he's struggling to defend himself. So he, he jabs him in the leg and, you know, he says, uh, now finish him into the heart. This this is no time for mercy, Matthew. And just kills him and then he's getting a dart in his neck. And he says, prepare the boy for the next trial. <laughs> so a couple of days later. He says uh, that the next trials was in Yosemite Falls. The challenge was to hold them for three days without losing my grip. How? Nobody can do that, right? I mean, three days. I mean, do you sleep and drink uh, in the meantime or not? Anyway, so there's some people looking at it, but they cannot see what's going on. So this guy with the mask says, uh, what if I said your mother and father were just a couple of chunky scumbags? They were still my mother and father, she, he says. They taught me everything I knew. And then he also says um, that uh, the cops, you know, uh, uh, Joe Costello, he is uh, rising through the ranks. I hear he's stiff for very big things. And he says, uh, no, I will kill him before I let that happen. And then he just falls and the guy says, prove it. All right. And it brings us back to the now. So um, then we go back to the chief of police guy here. And he, uh, he says, look at the place, Joe. All these years we spent cleaning it, and he's torn it apart inside 24 hours. And um, so, but then he says that the National Guard are on his way, and basically they need time to, uh, you know, to get the shit together before they come. But then, <laughs> it's Nemesis jumping out probably from a roof with a car. I mean, how many cars has he? And then he is, takes this guy with him. And it brings us to the next issue because they are falling now. <laughs> his little big smile, laughing, smiling his face. This this comic is crazy. Over the top, mayhem, violence. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it's 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 exactly what I needed. This is probably yeah. This is the next issue. This is exactly what I needed. You know, you're removing my bad taste. You know, of modern comics. Um, I'm. I'm I'm reading a lot of Image Comics because they scratch my itch. And it doesn't go on forever like in the most superhero books. They just have small contained stories. And then 
you know, an, another comic comes out and, you know, another artist, another writer and, and, you know, another story. It keeps it fresh. Well, you know, modern comics like this is also a modern comic, but, you know, Marvel DC. I don't know, man. I don't know what they are doing, but I really don't care. I'm over it. I have a lot of back issues, you know, 90s comics, straight paperbacks and all the stories that I can't read forever until I die. There's so many. I don't need those big two anymore because there's nothing they offer that interests me at all. Maybe there's, I'm not saying everything is bad. It's just, you know, the writing is worse than ever, you know, except maybe for a couple of comics here and there. But overall, the sales are down. And there's a reason for that. Um, you know, they are, it's, it's just not, it's not working anymore. Manga is winning. And there's also a reason for that. Guys, let me know what you think about this. This is a great comic. We're going to read issue free pretty soon. Stay tuned for another review from Darksiders Comics.